holidays! Welcome to The Bookish Vegan. I am Becky, this is Thriller, and at The Bookish Vegan, I cook recipes based on the books I'm reading. Today I'll be making a vegan broccoli cheddar soup inspired by Legend Born by Tracy Dion. It is so good, I can't wait to show you how to cook the recipe. You ready? The ingredients for vegan broccoli cheddar soup are as followed. One container of vegetable broth. One medium russet potato, peeled and chopped. Four carrots, peeled and chopped. Three cloves of garlic. A half cup of soaked raw cashews. This is very important, we will circle back to this later. One half of a chopped onion. It can be yellow or white, I chose white because that's what we had in the house. A half cup of nutritional yeast. Four cups of broccoli florets. Sea salt, paprika, black pepper, and of course, olive oil. So first we're gonna do two tablespoons of olive oil Beep. over medium heat. Beep. Then we add our onions. We're gonna let those go for two to three minutes until they're translucent, my favorite onion word. I originally heard about Legend Board because I saw it on Book of the Month and I also saw people freaking out about it. I decided not to get it for my December Book of the Month and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I ran to the amazing Chicago Public Library and they had it available, so I got it. And my world is rocked. It is one of the best books I have read all year. Um, it's just really not what I expected. I'm not usually a fantasy person. So if you're not really a fantasy person, um, this is definitely one to give it a go and not give up on the, on the book because it's so good. So the onions are translucent, so we add our garlic. There it goes. We're just gonna do this for about one minute until it's fragrant. Now we're gonna add our potatoes and our carrots, and they go. Woo! Then, we're gonna add our soaked raw cashews. And stop, this is a very important message. So, cashews are a huge staple in vegan cooking. They are very expensive, so if you want them, it's about $12, maybe even more, for kind of like a big jar. Um, it is worth it, you will use them. If you are allergic to nuts, hit me up. Let's talk about alternatives. But, these cashews, they are soaked. If you ever see a recipe and it tells you to use cashews and it doesn't tell you to soak them, I highly encourage you to still soak them in water. The reason we use cashews in vegan cooking is that it makes it so creamy and delicious and it's a great dairy-free alternative. So what I like to do is I soak cashews in boiling hot water. Like I, I set the kettle on um, and I boil that water, I put it in the cashews, so then by the time they're ready to be cooked, they'll be really moist and they'll absorb that water. And then when you blend them, like we're gonna do with the soup, it'll be so creamy. Now we're going to add our half cup of nutritional yeast, my literal favorite ingredient in the world. Here we go. Woo! And that is a lot of nutritional yeast. Add salt and pepper to taste. Don't be afraid um, to not measure things. Um, I think that catches people up sometimes. And don't be afraid because you can always add more. And if things get too salty, they get too peppery, there's ways to figure it out. So don't be afraid to use your eyeballs. Add the paprika. I'm going to do about two teaspoons, may add some later, eyeball, eyeball. And then you add four cups of vegetable broth. Ooh, look at it go. Then we're gonna bring the soup to a boil. Um, once it's boiling, bring it down to a simmer and that'll be 15 to 20 minutes. Um, you'll know it's ready when the potatoes and the carrots are fork tender. So quick synopsis on the book. 16 year old Brie Matthews loses her mother in a tragic accident and she ends up going to an early college program um, in North Carolina. She, you know, things are going hard. She's with her best friend. And um, all of a sudden she meets like a crazy demon flying in the air. Um, madness ensues. And I don't wanna say too much because I don't wanna give it away. I want you all to pick up this book. Basically it is a modern retelling of King Arthur, um, the Knights of the Round Table. And it just blew my mind. Um, the way Tracy Dion utilizes history, black history, um, and Brie as a character, her strength, um, her perseverance, it, it really manifested feelings of bravery and excitement in me, and I seriously couldn't put it down. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to our stock. 
um, just so it thins it out just a bit. Um, and we'll may make a little bit more soup after we blend it. Oh, I didn't see you there. The pot is boiling, which means it simmers now for 15 minutes. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to blend this soup when it's ready. So these are my options. We've got the like magic ninja bullet. I just combined two separate blenders, the ninja bullet. We've got my food processor, which is my best friend, but we also have an immersion blender, which I think I might want to use. However, every time I use it, there's always a mishap and I know it'll go flying everywhere. We just clean the kitchen. So stay tuned in the next 30 seconds to find out what I chose. It may be great, it may be death. What do you think, Thriller? Should we use the immersion blender? He's like, yeah, cause then I'll get some food. I'm going to use the immersion blender in order to add the broccoli at a good consistency. There's a few ways to do this. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a few different ways to do this soup. One way is to blend all the stock and stuff up and then let the broccoli boil with it later and make it tender. What I'm interested in doing today is um, putting the broccoli in with it and so we get some broccoli chunks because if we just do the stock, it won't be so chunky. So it's your choice. We like chunky soup in this house, so chunk away. So I got speed. We're gonna turn this off and I'm gonna start with blending the stock and stuff and then I'll add the broccoli in a few minutes. Here we go, I'm so scared. It's going okay, it's going okay. Great news, we found terrific success with the Immersion Blender. Here is our beautiful stock. Look at it, golden. Dare I say it even looks cheesy. So we're gonna add our broccoli now. Um, here it goes, bite-sized, yum yum. I'm going to bring our soup to a boil again. And once it starts to boil, um, and the broccoli is tender, so that's about 10 minutes, we'll bring the immersion back in. There is our broccoli, we're mixing it up. I think this looks absolutely delicious. It, it looks like cheese fondue. We're going to immersion blend our items yet again. Fingers crossed, here we go. Um, I'm gonna do just a little bit more paprika and pepper um, and just a dash of salt before we eat. Voila. I swear it doesn't even taste like there's no dairy in it. It's really, um, the reason that that happens is because of the cashews and nutritional yeast. I'm gonna take one more bite, it's so good. It's so good. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. Cheers to all of us and thank you for watching. Um, I can't wait for more videos in 2021. Um, if you have any questions about what I'm cooking, what I'm reading, um, I can't recommend more that you pick up a copy of Legendborn or go to your local library. Um, this is the kind of book that makes waves and makes people think differently. So I highly recommend. So pick up a book, read a book, do everything with a book and change the world.